Beyond the ice ages, a moon-driven sea rolled across the land where the mountain now rises. The coast was sinking, inch by inch, and being rebuilt, layer by layer, as sand and clay washed down to the Pacific in rivers and streams. Across millions of years, the process continued, until two miles of new soil lay hard-packed above the old. The mountain's foundation was created during eons of Earth history by waves of mountain building, erosion, and volcanic eruption. Ohanapakash, lava spurting up into cold ocean, exploding, then coagulating into concrete-like brasia. welded by its own heat. Fife's Peak, Andesite, Basalt, delivered up from the Earth's core in molten rivers 500 feet deep. Salt and pepper granodiorite, oozing under pressure into subterranean cracks and crevices. Finally, the cascades, thrust up over millions of years by buckling and folding and warping of the land as water, ice, and wind carved the mountain faces. Mount Rainier heaved up through a fault in the Earth's crust half a million years ago. The mountain's life began with incandescent lava flows, spilling westward down the valleys of the Mowich and Puyallup rivers. volcano matured, diminishing flows of lava and eruptions of pumice built Rainier's high main cone. thousand four hundred and ten feet, Mount Rainier stands high among the world's volcanic peaks. The mountain reached full height 75,000 years ago, a mere moment ago on the clock of Earth history. Six thousand years ago, Rainier's old summit had been reduced to clay by steaming gases. Half a cubic mile of the unstable mountaintop suddenly slipped away, its movement triggered by a steam explosion or an earthquake. A great mud flow cascaded downslope into the Puget Sound lowland. The top of the mountain today is a smaller lava cone built inside the old crater by more recent eruptions.
Mount Rainier has erupted sporadically since the last ice age 10,000 years ago. Wildflowers and summer grasses grow from Vulcan fields where the volcano flung rocks, globs of lava, and clouds of pumice in recent times. A glacier forms when winter snowfall exceeds summer melting. Each crystal of glacier ice is made of countless thousands of snowflakes, welded together. Mount Rainier bears 34 square miles of glacier ice. Glaciers formed long before the mountain reached full height. Cleavers of rock separate the glaciers. The fragile cleavers are under ceaseless attack by the grinding sheets of ice and by the crowbarring action of moisture freezing and thawing. Water seeps into cracks in the rock pinnacles during the day, then freezes, expands, and splits the rock apart in the cold of night. As the mountain warms under the morning sun, it begins to fall in bits and pieces. Countless tons of rock debris, continuously broken away from the mountain, is hauled downslope by the crawling glaciers. Up to 90 feet of snow falls each winter across the middle slopes of Mount Rainier. 
Ringing moisture from Pacific storms, the mountain influences weather, climate, and every living thing around it. Meltwater from snowfields and glacier ice incessantly thunders down the mountain, rolling boulders and washing billions of smaller pieces of rainier substance to the valleys below. Crushed rock flour in glacial meltwater is one clue to the speed of glacial travel. The faster the ice moves down mountain, the muddier the water below. rains, the rapid melting of snow and ice, or sudden outbursts of water trapped within the glaciers unleash floods of sand, clay, and stone that scour and diminish the mountain. In 1947, the end of the Kautz Glacier collapsed. A soup of ice and rock, and a tangle of uprooted trees cascaded to the lower valley. The forest there was killed, and the Nisqually River temporarily dammed. Squeeze a month into a fraction of a minute. Reduce a day to a part of a second. The speed of a glacier is influenced by the thickness of the ice and the steepness of its slope. Valley glaciers move a foot or two a day. But in steeper reaches, their speed may be 10 or 20 feet. And over ice falls, faster still.
Compress time again, peer through flickering days, sunny and cloudy, dark and light, as the glacial ice flows. Nothing on earth is immutable. Even this mountain ages and changes day by day, victim of the tearing down forces of weathering and erosion. And yet, with its bulk and height, it seems to stand untouched above the violence on its slopes. Rainier may collapse someday into its own cauldron, leaving a giant crater to fill with water. Or it may explode again and rise still higher. A brown cloud of pumice erupted from the mountain in the 1840s, less than 150 years ago. Small earthquakes rumble now deep below the dome. Rising heat and blasting wind keep parts of the crater rims bare of snow and ice. The volcano lies in a fretful sleep, dormant but alive. <laughs> 